Hello everyone, my name is Brennan from bshep.net. Welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a simple Minecraft animation walk cycle in Blender today. So um, let's start by first taking a look at this rig. This is the um, a rig by um, the Mikahel, uh, if, that's, if I'm pr pronouncing it right, correctly, um, I hope I am. but. Uh, I will put the link in the description for you to download so you'll be able to access that. Um, but without further ado, go ahead and download that blend file and uh, unzip it and everything. And uh, just like I have here, um, you might want to separate out one character. Uh, there's actually different characters in this package. Um, there's a lot of different characters. There's all these uh, right here. You can't see them right now because there's no lighting. Um, yeah, so there's all these characters in here, but we're going to separate. We're going to separate it out, just one character like this, uh, Minecraft Steve, basic simple character. All right, so uh, first of all, I want to show you what I did. This is the simple animation I showed you already at the beginning of this tutorial. A preview of that, uh, rendered and everything, but this is what it looks like in the Blender viewport. So. Let's get started. I'm going to delete all my keyframes that I just placed. And I'm going to go in the left view because I want to start with the right foot. So depending on whatever foot you want to start with, then go into that view. Like you can go to right view if you're starting the left foot. Just because it's easier to select. Or you can just go in the front, in, in front of it, and then select one of the feet like this. So I'm going to select the right foot and go in left view, which is numpad 3. And I can't believe I forgot to turn on the screencast keys which I probably should do as usual, but I never have it on, so I will go. Okay, so um, I turn on screencast keys, and as you can see right here, I am in the animation uh, setup, so you can go to default and all that, it was different, but I'm in animation, so it has a automatically, it automatically has all the timelines you need, the graph editor and the dope sheet, so yes, I'm just gonna leave it in here. You can also edit the default viewport, of course, you can go to default and you can add a new window just like this UV editor right here. You can add a dope sheet or a NLA editor or whatever you want. So I'm going to leave it at UV uh, image editor and go back to animation, not compositing. Okay, so let's go into left view as we were doing earlier. And what I usually do is I separate it into three different uh, sets. So the first one um, is just standing still and then the next uh, set is um, it will be like the legs crossed like this and then um, the third one will be back uh, back at the straight and normal position basically back at the standing sta standing still like standing yeah standing still animation pose basically okay so yeah, so there'll be three different poses. Um, and I also have this on right here. It's automatic keyframe insertion. And I type in whole character and select that. So it will um, it will insert automatic keyframes for every single bone on the whole character. So let's go into left view, select the foot you're going to animate first. And let's grab it and then select or click um, with the left mouse button. And let's go five frames. I usually go to five. And I move it. Move the legs out. And I also use this bone, which is nice. This rig is very nice because it has the IK ability. Um, so I'm going to leave it. Oops, I think I didn't keyframe this foot. Let me do Alt G and it will automatically insert a keyframe. And there we go. The legs start to move. And. I'm going to select this, press G on the keyboard, um, and uh, left click, and then let's go five frames, move this down, let's start to bend his knees, and let's go five more frames to ten, 
and let's bring him up. You can just press Alt G and he'll go back. And then press Alt G on both of these. Select them and press Alt G, of course. And let's go back to the very begin very beginning. And you can see he he um, crosses his legs and then he stands back up. And then we'll go five more frames from frame 10, which will be 15. And we'll do the opposite, so his legs will be crossing the opposite way. His le his right foot back, um, and his left foot in front. So he'll be crossing him again like this, and then we will move this down again. Maybe I shouldn't have moved it down so much in the last. So as you can see, he crosses his legs, and he's walking. All right. But his arms wouldn't be standing still like uh, what is that? Charlie Brown or something? Charlie Brown walk cycle. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, let's set the keyframes for the arms. What I usually do is I set these, press G on the keyboard, select, um, and then go 5. So his arms would be crossing opposite ways, his legs would be crossing. That's the way people walk usually, I think. Um, so this would be crossing backwards, opposite of his front uh, right leg. And then his left arm would be crossing the opposite of his left leg. Okay, so um, what I usually also do is I set this to go one frame after the frame that it's back. So uh, so it's set to be at five. So then six, I would move this to curve like that. So at frame six, that's a frame five. So frame six, curve it up. And it just adds an extra little. Um, I also have to do Alt R to put it back. And then it's in its place, and it will uh, it adds a keyframe automatically. So it's just like that. And this now I'm, I think needs to go back more, so I'm going to go back to frame five, and rotate it back like that. And I think I'll go frame ten, and um, set them in their place, so they'll be still, uh, just like he was standing up. And then go to frame fifteen. And after we do all this, we can just repeat it, and it'll be so simple and easy. So. Let's do the opposite now. This arm will be going forward, the right arm, and then the left arm will be going backward. Because it's the opposite. And now we want to go to frame 16 and rotate these two arms like so. And it should look pretty good. Yep, there we go. Now he's moving his arms and his legs at the same time, and it looked great. So all we have to do now is go into the Dope Sheet Editor right here, the dope sheet, and select all these keyframes, and now just shift D on the keyboard to duplicate them and place them at the next um, five frames basically away from the last area, one, two, three, four, five, and there we go. Just keep repeating it, and he will keep walking. As long as we just duplicate it as many times as we need to, he will keep walking, which is great. And all you have to do is select the whole area Press Shift D in the keyboard, and you can just keep duplicating uh, large amounts of keyframes, which is what you need if you're going to be making him walk for many miles. So yes, just bam, let's do that. There we go, and he'll keep walking forever. So thank you guys for watching. That was a pretty simple animation, and it's pretty great. It works great for animating. It looks pretty good. Uh, it's pretty simple, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.